I'm Robert McFarlane. I'm a fellow in English here at Emmanuel, and I'm also a writer. And for nearly 20 years now, I've been researching and writing around the subject of deep time. Deep time is the chronology of Earth history. It's measured in units that humble the human instant, eons and epochs instead of minutes and years. Deep time is kept by rock and stone, by ice, by seabed sediments and stalactites. I first became interested in this subject because I grew up as a mountain climber and deep time is rarely laid more bare than when in mountains. But over the past decade, I've become increasingly fascinated by the ethical implications of deep time. For deep time stretches into the future as well as into the past. And to think deeply about the future is necessarily to consider the legacies we're leaving as individuals and as a species. One of the best questions I know was asked by Jonas Salk, the Nobel Prize winning virologist who developed one of the first polio vaccines and made it available for free to the world. Salk's question posed towards the end of his life was this, are we being good ancestors? It's a question that first stops you then searches you. Are we being good ancestors? For to be a good ancestor is quite different to being a good parent or grandparent. It means extending care to people you will never meet, decades, centuries, even millennia into the future. Walter Mildmay, Emmanuel's founder, was a good ancestor what is sometimes also called a cathedral thinker. As you know, Emmanuel's first and keystone story, if it can be called that, was Mildmay's remark to Elizabeth I on the occasion of his founding of the college in 1584. I have set an acorn which, when it becomes an oak, God alone knows what will be the fruit thereof. Mildmay's phrase, God alone knows, has always interested me. For it seems to me that a vital part of good ancestry is not knowing, is relinquishing control over the exact outcome of one's actions, but instead planting those acorns and trusting that they will grow through deeper time than one's own, flourishing first into trees and then forests that are thriving and irreplaceable communities of life. <laughs>